Good day to all and welcome back around to the grande finale of Let's Play Adventure Island 4. I'm just just because you don't know, and we are about to face the final foe, which is, oh my god, it's a giant eggplant. The nemesis of Master Higgins throughout all the games, a giant eggplant. Now comes to the huge showdown, which spawns like a, a I don't know, flipping minion which which bobbles around, which is way easier to withstand than those little things which are a pain in the ass. You usually should just shoot the other one later, uh, leave the other one alone, like this one, and don't even try bother to kill it because the other minions are way more annoying. And yeah, you just shoot it in the mouth until it has enough. Oh yeah, also potion because I was dying. Come on. And he's done. Well, he's sorta of challenging. At least ch more challenging than the other enemies, uh, the other bosses. And there he is, sack with a holy hand grenade on it. I wonder what's in there. Ah, it's just our punching ball. I thought there was actu an actual holy hand grenade in it. But yeah, we saved her from the evil eggplant king, I suppose. It is weird, but I just roll with it. So... Yeah, of course everything explodes in a very... With very rhythmic explosions, I have to say. And of course, we get saved. Our ass gets saved again by our dear friend Sephir, which still craps kidney stones. But well, as long as he, as long as he's a flying vehicle. But anyways, we're safe again. We destroy yet another island. That's like the fourth one already, so we are in, on Adventure Island 5, I suppose, and that's the end of the game. Way less challenging than the than the prequels, but it's still a fun game, because it, uh, it had a quite a u new, unique um, use. It is the first like adventure-like game they were later on, which were in the S SNES. It's actually quite a likeable game. Even though that most of the items are a little bit weird, since they're either one-use items or just completely useless, like uh, the skateboard, for example. There is no... well, actually the skateboard is quite accurate to the real-life one, because you only use the skateboard if you really like to kill yourself, because that's the only use you would use the skateboard, because you like to kill yourself. Like in real life. Or just badly injure yourself. Okay, enough bragging about that. Um, well, who can I thank? I would like to thank everyone who who joined in in this last play, that is Freezing in Fresno, Rainiac, uh, Behold My Strength, and Mecha Prime. I would thank you, thank you a lot for uh, joining, because that's something that I always wanted to do when I start this fourth part, and let's see if there's ever going to be something like that again. Also, this this fish is a real screen hunger. That's already the third time he jumped. Jumped, uh, jumped in front of the screen. What an attention whore. And yeah, now comes the awkward, awkward, um, <laughs> the awkward uh, cutscene babble, credits babble, where no LP here in the world has an idea what he should say. So I just try to bite some time until the. Credit is on, is done, and I can say just because we don't know what it which is, ah, that's so adorable. <laughs> Listen to these eight-bit sound effects of a shore. Then again, you can barely hear it because I'm constantly babbling. But it's beautiful. I can tell you, it's really realistic. Because I certainly know that as a, as a in a country where there is no sea whatsoever. Anyways, I would like I like I like to thank you for watching and just because we don't know. Au revoir.